the Ghost Martin. The Bell and round one and Davis having a little fun with the whole Ghost nickname. A part of the Ghostbusters theme is team has t-shirts with who you gonna call? Well, move the millimeters, his defense, his, his ability to utilize his ring IQ and his boxing skills. Yes, it's not even so much as an exciting fighter. Good combination lands for Martin. Again, you can't get repetitive if you're, if you're Martin. No way. Davis, Davis That's is reading you. Instantly he'll respond Ooh, there there is. the left hand. Davis beginning to open up. Crowd anticipating it. Davis saying, bring it. Mm -hmm. Of course he wants him to bring it. Don't get tired with the left. This is a dance for Martin. Nice. Straight left. One pops step ahead. Davis pops Martin. Here we go. Here's Tank. There, the little slip and a little, you know, left hand over the top. Easy. But again, Martin just let out that jab. He's got to get back on the jab. Oh, there's the jab and the left follow-up left from... I know he does not want to open up. He doesn't want to give anything to uh, Davis. But again, he, he has to keep him busy. Oh, there's a left hand to the body and the right by Davis. Martin just avoiding that counter. But now Martin... There's that look. That Frank missed that left hand. Tank countered with the left uppercut and then the right hook. Davis misses with the lead left uppercut, but then follows up with another left hand. And That's the counter he's been looking for. Neither fighter has ever been down as a pro. Martin still has a slight advantage in terms of total punches landed, but the gap is closing, and Davis double left hand. Martin's got to stay out of the corners nice. if, he, if he wants to stay in this fight. We haven't seen body work from Martin. I want to see that left to the body. Here's the corner. Frank should not be in there. We were talking about that. He's just setting himself up for big trouble here. There's the uppercut, and there's the left hand. Wow! Once he stunned him with that uppercut. The undefeated WBA lightweight champion of the world, Gervonta Davis! Hey, man, look. What were you going to say, right? I mean... The whole thing for me was Frank had to go backward like he was doing. I was kind of surprised. He was moving back and he was slipping. And he was catching him. He was catching him. He was slipping and he was catching him. He was splitting the guard, right? But at a certain point, Frank just got content after he started feeling the power of just moving backward. But he wasn't catching the check. He wasn't catching that check back on, 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 um, on Tank when he would go backward and Tank would go forward. Tank was following him. Tank wasn't even cutting the ring off. He was just... Walking them down, 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 walking them down. And I'm like, well, I hope that doesn't, for Tank, it doesn't go south. You know, following a puncher, you could get knocked out. That's just boxing 101. But Frank, at a certain point, past the fifth round, was content. You could see it. I want to go 12. Whether I win or lose, I just want to go 12. I just want to go 12. And once that mentality kicked in, it was, it was irreversible. He just he he would go backwards. He would he would make him miss, but he wouldn't make him pay because Tank was coming forward. Tank wasn't really cutting up the ring too much. He was just coming forward, and when he would, he would catch Tank real quick. Pop, and you would think, okay, now he's gonna wake up. And no, he didn't. He never followed it up. Kept going backward. Kept circling around backwards, circling around. And when he got knocked out, I said, I'm like, why is he sitting on the rope? And all of a sudden, boom, the uppercut just had him Bambi. Then he just finished it off. God. I was like, oh, man. He, he hit him so hard, bro. He, like, when he fell out flat, like, he needed a pillow. He got up like he was late for work, and he had just had a party all night the night before, and he was just like, oh, just need... <laughs> Listen, that was a brutal knockout. It wasn't just like the ref came in and was like, all right, you had enough, young man. No, we, no. The ref was giving him, like, hey, hey, you want to get up here? You, 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 you sure you want to stay down? <laughs> I'm giving you a chance. I'm giving you a slow count. Get up, bro. Get up. He took so long. Listen. That it, it, it's, it's a tough one. So, listen, for me, Tank is all the credit in the world because that was the slickest, hardest fighter, more talented fighter that I think he's fought in a long time, if not maybe in his career, right, so far, just, for, just because of the power and attributes that Frank possesses. Now, Lomachenko's a little long on the tooth, but I still give him credit if he fights him within the next six months, right? Still give him credit. But, you know, he's a long on the tooth. So if, if he were to beat him, I, I wouldn't be too surprised that he beats Lomachenko, but it's still a great fight if it happens within the next six months to eight months. You know, and of course, of course, Stevenson, right? So those are the two big guys. That, I mean, once he beats those guys, who else is left in there, right? I, I, I don't know. But right now, I'm content with his win. He deserves the win. He showed up and showed out. It was a great night. I wish that Frank believed in himself more, but maybe that's a little hard to do when you got somebody like Tank punching you in the face. So, I don't know. I've I, I never been in that position before. But anyway, 
my you know my call came true both tonight matias and you know uh, tank so hey it was a great night of boxing boxing got it right tonight let me know in the comments down below what do you think of tonight what do you think about tank's performance what do you think about frank's performance do you think you know what should tank do next that's the big thing let me know down in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one and i'm out peace